Question 24. It is the last question of the paper, so we would expect a level 5 question. This design has one large square and two identical small squares. The design measures 36 centimetres by 28 centimetres. What have we got to do? Well, we've got to find the length of a side of large square. Now, the easiest way to explain this is to say, well, if you draw a line down here, we already know that that is 28. But if we draw a line across here, and then up, we are actually turning it into a square. So if this is 28, this distance must also be 28. So the rectangle, the white rectangle plus the small square must be 28 in both directions. Now then what that enables us to do is if we know that the white rectangle plus the small square is 28, then the white rectangle plus two small squares which is all the way along here, is 36. So we can now work out the extra bit on the end, the extra small square. So the difference from 28 up to 36 is an extra 8. So this extra square on the end here must be 8. And these two squares are identical. So they're both worth 8. So one small square... or the length, should we say, of one small square is 8. And that's come from 36 take away 28. It's got to be 8. Once you know that the small square is worth 8, remember what we said? We said that the two small squares are identical. So if this small square is worth 8, then this small square must also be worth 8. All the sides are 8. Now, if we know that this distance is 28, but from here to here is 8, this distance must be 20, because 20 plus 8 gives us the 28. And that is actually what we're looking for, the length of a side of the large square. So it must be 20. So the length of large square is then 28, take away the 8, which gives you your 20, and that's your final answer, 20. As a quick double check, let's make sure everything makes sense. So what we're saying is that this is 20, and this is 8. Does that make sense? 20 plus 8 makes 28. So yeah, we can take that, that makes sense. If we go along the bottom, does it still make sense? We say that the small squares are 8, so 8 and 8, and we say that this, the side of the large square, is 20. So does 8 plus 20 plus 8 make 36? Well, 2 8s is 16, and 16 plus 20 is 36. So that also makes sense. So the large square has to be 20. And that's a level 5 question.